Race five on the card, the first leg of our jackpot of grade one sprints. The Alan Robertson Championship for two-year-old fillies over 1,200 meters. Let's have a look at a couple of reruns, uh, critical reruns. Number four, Sheila, when winning at Turfentine on the 1st of May. Number five, Sound of Warning, when winning the Strelitzia Stakes at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on the 9th of May. And they will be followed by an interview with Donovan Dillon. Sally can roll with the punches. They go to the final 250. Sheila holds sway. Smorgasbord, and they've left the others well behind. It's Sheila in front. Smorgasbord flat to the boards in second. Then comes Captain's Run. It's Sheila a length in front. Smorgasbord won't give up. Horribly green, but it's Sheila who's going to pull off the nursery. Sheila won at Smorgasbord second. Third went to Captain's Run, then came roll with the punches. Out of the 300 metre marker, Cassie Inverno. Sound of warning is now putting in strong claims, and so is Captain's Run. It's come down to these two over the last 200 metres, and it's Sound of Warning the leader. Captain's Run won't go away, but will stay on for second. Ashling and Silver Right, but it's going to go to Sound of Warning to win it. Second will go to Captain's Run. Third, Cassie Inverno. Maybe Sky Glitter runs fourth. Take note of that run. Opening shower. Very nice type of filly. Um, been off quite a while. Uh, hard to come in to a race like this. Uh, but I'm sure Robbie's done the necessary gallops and, and workouts that, that, that he would have to have it fit and ready for this type of race. Uh, very tough field, but we'll be giving it our all. Some strong form coming into this race. The betting dominated by number four, Sheila, at eight to ten. Samanga Kamalo, Michael Azzi. They team up with the Drakenstein stud two-year-old daughter of the United States. She comes up against Sound of Warning, also sporting the Drakenstein silks, Lyle Hewitson riding for his boss, Sean Terry. Now, we mustn't forget, this is a, a day that Sean Terry has always uh, had a tremendous amount of success. Last year, he saddled three of the four grade one winners. Sound of Warning, impressive winner of the Strelitzia. Then, Warren, before I hand over to you, a couple that I just want to mention. Number 10, Sky Glitter, we saw running on from a hopeless position on debut. Heaven's Girl, of course, won the nursery. Super Siri's got some useful form. And a horse or a filly that I think could be anything and is under the radar, number three, Crimson Causeway. But uh, how do you see the race? Graham, you know, we've said it time and time again. You have to structure it. You have to play it the way you can afford it. And when looking at this card, I'm only going to, uh, it's probably a two horse race, but I'm I'm going to include four horses. And let me tell you about the four. You've touched on some of them. Sheila, she looks outstanding. I just hope that she doesn't get lost at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. It's my only concern. She's a champion. I'm prepared to say that at this point in time, I believe she's a champion. She's by the United States. She's really getting off to a good start. So for me, she sets the standards. Five, Sound of Warning, has raced at Hollywood Bet Scottsville and took to it like a duck to water. She looks to be a champion in the making. So she's my second choice. Nine under your spell. Forget that last run. Uh, went seven and a half lengths to Heaven's Girl. She's got tons of class and ability. She's my third choice. The fourth choice for me is number 10, Sky Glitter. We all saw how she ran on. She's a horse to watch out for in my shortlist. And in actual fact, if Sheila, Sound of Warning, and Under Your Spell fluffed their lines and Sky Glitter had to really go close, I wouldn't be shocked. She's got ability. She definitely is the unknown quantity in the race. Number 10, Sky Glitter. She was tailed off tailed halfway off. through uh, her run in the Strelitzia. So she made her debut in a feature race, in a grade three feature race. She was tailed off, came storming home. With the benefit of that run, she could certainly make her presence felt. The Alan Robertson has, over the years, often produced surprise results. Could this year be an exception? Can we rely on the odds-on favourite, Sheila, or, in fact, the second favourite, Sound of Warning? As you heard there from Warren, both of them very promising, very talented. They do look special. Sheila, unbeaten two from two, both of them feature races. Sound of Warning, unbeaten two from two, last time out to Strelitzia. Waiting in the wings to pick up the pieces. Under your spell. Sky Glitter, Heaven's Girl, Super Siri, and possibly Crimson Causeway. But for my money, I'm going to take a chance and make it an absolute match between Sheila and Sound of Warning.